welcome back to Dave's World, your home for automotive mechanical entertainment. So if you watched my last video on this cruise, you saw that I put in the HP RV. I wasn't happy with the results because it wasn't as loud as what I saw online that it was supposed to be. So I decided that maybe there's not enough boost. Now I noticed when I flipped over this air box, the car lost boost. And I don't know if that was a coincidence or maybe the car's happier with having a sealed air box. What I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna close the air box back up. I'm going to upgrade the spring inside this Mamba wastegate actuator. My thought process is between the air box being closed and the spring holding tighter, I'll be able to increase the boost and then the HP RV will be louder. In the future, I plan on removing the HP RV completely and going with an atmospheric blow off valve. It's the kind of blow off valve you would usually see coming out of the intercooler, but before like the throttle body. Uh, I kind of want to put something in this area potentially. No one's been able to figure it out so far, but I kind of have a way that I think will work. And I'm going back and forth with the tuner now to figure it out. Bad News Racing has been pretty good at kind of pointing me in the right direction. They did say not to do it because a lot of people have failed, but the way I want to do it, it sounds like it should work properly. So it's just a matter of getting all the pieces together. Uh, but what I'm going to do today is let's mess around with the Mamba wastegate actuator. If you want to see how to install a Mamba wastegate actuator, I'll put a uh, card up here in the corner of the video. If you click on that card, it'll bring you right to the Mamba uh, wastegate install for the cruise with a test drive. But for today, what we're going to do is we're going to modify this one to increase the boost pressure and we'll see what we come out with. But before I play this video for everyone, don't forget to turn on your notifications so you can see some future updates on my channel whenever I post them. Thank you again, everybody. Hopefully you enjoy. Okay, so I talked to Jerry over at Bad News Racing. Uh, he said that I should have the black spring in this wastegate actuator. It currently has the yellow one. Now, on a factory engine with no tune whatsoever, yellow is what they recommend. I do have all of these springs left over, so I'm going to go install the black spring and see what kind of upgrade we get out of this uh, wastegate actuator. Again, there's a card up in the corner to check out the entire install, but for right now, I want to swap springs and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I just took the wastegate actuator out, and I think it's important to note that I did tighten all these down in the other video, but one came out. Uh, maybe these require some Loctite. Uh, so if you are doing a Mamba wastegate actuator install, definitely throw some Loctite in these bolts if you're changing the spring out. I need to now go find some kind of bolt to replace this with. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to put, uh, I'm gonna definitely be putting some Loctite on these. I may have gotten lucky and found some Allen screws that I could use. I just don't know just yet, but I'm gonna try and match them. Oh, I didn't realize I had to do that. Oh. Okay. I didn't realize I would have to disconnect this as well. I'm gonna keep this nut in place. Hopefully I could sneak this housing over it. Yeah. So I just have to pull this part off. So as long as you don't move the nut, hopefully your preload will stay the same. You're probably gonna have to double check your preload, which if you watch that other video, you'll see the preload adjustment. Okay, I'm putting some tape on this rod behind where this bolt is, so I know where at least the preload was. I, maybe there's a different preload when I change the spring. Hopefully I can sneak this over that, and no, it can't. Let me try thinner tape. I might have put just put too much on it. Okay, good, I can sneak past the tape now. Okay, yellow spring coming out, black spring going in. Now, I did notice this rod moves. 
Uh, I think maybe I should tighten up on it a little bit. Let me see if I can somehow. I would imagine your preload changes if this rod moves. Oh, in case you guys are wondering, it is a four millimeter bolt that came out. So if you end up having one flaw out like me, just go right to the metric aisle and look for four millimeter Allen. I had to scour a couple stores to find it. I did not put Loctite on here simply because there's a chance I have to take this spring back out. So I didn't want to make these things permanent until I knew this was the right spring. Now you also have to be careful. I'm having a tough time getting these bolts to tighten. Maybe that's why the one fell out. I thought maybe my Allen wrench was stripped because I used it a lot. Uh, I know maybe I'll go back to the hardware store this week if they restock and get a bunch of new bolts and just replace all of them and then Loctite them if I have a problem. Well, I'll probably do it anyway. Doesn't matter if I have a problem. All right, let's get this thing back in the car. Okay, you ready? I always wanted to try one of these snap cuts. So when I snap my fingers, let's see if we can get this thing installed. Let's try going into the car that way. Cool, it worked again. I'm just having some fun, guys. If, uh, if you don't like these transitions let me know, but if you think they're kind of fun, I'll do them again. Uh, I always wanted to try them out. I figured I'd try them in this video. What I'm mostly concerned with on this drive is that the transmission shifts because we just finished the Q-shift install. I want to make sure we get our boost pressure back. Uh, I had a little bit of a boost pressure issue with the HPRV, And I'm hoping we get more boost because of the wastegate spring install. So we'll see what happens on this road test. The boost pressure is now hitting about 26 pounds of boost. When I get to a road where I can show you, I will. Yeah, I hope you guys can hear that on camera, but it is, it is definitely a little bit louder with the extra boost. The mid-range torque is there. The boost pressure is way higher. Let me get to a place where I can show you. Uh, maybe right here is okay. Definitely higher. That almost hit about 25. I hope you guys are enjoying things this way. I did it a little bit different this time. I wanted to have sort of a beginning to ending build series on this car. So what I wanted to do was have all of these videos kind of work together. And in the end, you get to see what all, all the results are from all the modifications I've done with all of the upgrades. Uh, and I'm excited to show this stuff to you. So uh, thanks again, everybody. I appreciate you supporting Dave's world. I appreciate everybody who comments, likes, and subscribes, and I really appreciate my subscribers who stick by and watch every video to the end and give me feedback. You guys are great, and I go out of my way to make some uh, cruise content because I have a lot of great cruise uh, subscribers. So thanks again, everybody, and have a very nice day.